Holy Spirit who indwells us, wants to express himself uh, to the world through us. He um, wants to encounter the people around us uh, now with power and uh, he wants to meet their needs. So um, the way we can live a supernatural life is to yield to the work of the Holy Spirit. And one of the ways we can yield to the work of the Holy Spirit is when we, um, when we move in the gift of prophecy, when we yield to uh, what God wants to tell us, what the word that God wants to put in our hearts, and when we are obedient to, um, to fully uh, share that word or do according to what He's put in our hearts um, to minister to others and to bless others' lives. So we've been learning about uh, preparing ourselves to minister in the prophetic. And one of the ways by which we can pro prepare ourselves is to make a decision in our hearts that I will commit to speaking faithfully, that we will commit to speaking faithfully what God puts in our heart. And if there's no word, if there's no instruction, if there's no prophetic word, then we will remain silent. That we will not manufacture something, that we will not come up with something out of our own hearts. And in order to sound impressive, in order to uh, not to disappoint people and say something, no. But uh, we will remain silent in such occasions. Um, you know, in Jeremiah 23 and verse 16, um, this is what we read. Thus says the Lord of hosts, do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. They make you worthless. They speak a vision of their own heart, not from the mouth of the Lord. So which means that it is possible that we can speak something out of our own, um, from our from our own heart, from our own imagination, and not from uh, from God Himself. So, in such times, we we just remain silent. If there's no clear word from God, we we discern. Yes, God has not spoken, so we remain silent. Um, another very important thing to do is to maintain, to build and maintain godly character. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 1 where he says, Pursue love, which is the nature and the character of God. And then he says, Desire spiritual gifts. So both go hand in hand. Even as we desire the spiritual gift, even as we desire to prophesy, um, we need to desire that we will build, we will build godly character. We will maintain godly character. Because character is really like the wineskin. Character is really like the container which holds the anointing, which holds the gift. Um, the gift can actually open doors. It can take us to places. It can give visibility. And uh, it is the character which actually sustains. It is the character, uh, it's godly character which sustains us and which gives us the longevity of ministry. So it's very important. The gift can give us a platform, but it is the character which sustains us there, which keeps us there. So therefore we understand that, yes, I need to give a lot of importance to godly character, uh, even as I desire the gift and move in the gift. The third thing to understand is that um, we do not base our identity, our self-worth uh, on the gift, on how wonderfully we walk in the gift, or how wonderfully we minister in the gift, our identity should not be based on that. Our self-worth should not be based on that. Uh, meaning that, you know, um, our gifts and ministries are just tools, are just tools that God gives to fulfill the purpose that He has for us, or fulfill the assignment and the responsibility that He has entrusted to us. So, we do not base our identity. We completely delink our identity, our self-worth and everything from the prophetic gift, right? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your, uh, for the work of your spirit. We thank you that it is your desire that you change us, transform us into vessels of honor. And Lord, even as we choose to uh, walk in your ways, even as we desire to be used by you, Lord, I pray that our identity will not be in the gifting. Our identity will not be in the ministering, but our identity and self-worth, let it come from who we are to you, Lord. And uh, Father, we thank you that uh, you are changing us, that you are building strength in these areas. And so we give you all praise and so we give you all glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.